For over 60 years, STP has been developing products to help cars run at their peak performance. To get the inside track on NASCAR racing, go to NBCSports.com slash Inside NASCAR. We'll let Joey Logano go get in the car. Mike Massaro, his teammate, Brad Keselowski, about to get in his car as well. What do you think the fast way is going to be around this track right now with the additional polishing on the lower groove? Yeah, I, I think the bottom's going to be really fast, Mike. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll see here in just a minute, but uh, it's been a good track for us. We've always ran really good on the bottom, so I'm really excited about the bottom uh, being worked on to, to be fast. and. Uh, I think it'll be more like the old Bristol, so that's going to be really cool all weekend. What do you know about this track now that you didn't know when you rolled in here earlier this week? Uh, I think just learning how that all that rosin and stuff works that they put down in the bottom groove and how it activates with the tires is uh, I'm learning, and everybody's learning at a constant pace because it keeps changing. We'll let you get back in that car. Thank you. Back in Slowski, a two-time winner here in Bristol. Get on the pole here and give it a better shot for Saturday night. Two teams that have been dominant included is Penske Racing and the two drivers we just heard from, as well as Joe Gibbs Racing. 11 of the last 12 races won by those two organizations. Seven wins for Joe Gibbs Racing and their current Joe Gibbs Racing drivers, Bush Hamlin, Kenseth, and Edwards. And then four more wins for Kozlowski and Legato. Of course, Legato's were the two night races back in 2014 and 2015. The only guy to break up that dominance between those two teams has been Casey Kane with Hendrick Motorsports. And he's definitely a driver that needs a win. Uh, and it would be great to come at this Bristol night race tomorrow evening. Brad Kozlowski still waiting to climb into his car. How, how come these teams and drivers have been so dominant, Steve? You know, I really think, you know, it sounds odd, but it comes down a lot to confidence. When a driver can come to a track, have success, not only does he walk in the gate with more confidence the next time, but he also walks in armed with the information of what a good car should feel like. While that seems straightforward, we're talking the level of competition is so high in Sprint Cup Garage. Some cars feel good, some feel bad, some are okay, but those winning cars, those special cars, when a driver is fortunate enough to have one of those, he can then register in his memory bank, that's what I need, that's what I need my car to do, to come back to Bristol and be dominant again, to come back here and move through traffic. Joey Logano obviously knows what he needs, because the last two night races he's won, so that's the same feel. Even with the groove moved to the bottom with this new prep on the racetrack, I still think there's this confidence and feel he has to have in his car. We'll see if he has that confidence and feel as round one is about to get underway for NASCAR Sprint Cup Series qualifying from Bristol. 